Hello everyone! In this video, I'll give you a quick overview of Weglot and explain how you can have your website translated into multiple languages in minutes. We'll cover everything you need to know, from integrating Weglot with your website, to generating translation with AI and human translators, localizing your multilingual content, including your SEO performance, and even measuring your international growth. By the end of this video, you'll be familiar with the Weglot dashboard and be ready to take your website global with confidence. So let's jump right in. First, I want to start by showing you what a multilingual website powered by Weglot looks like. As you can see, there's a language switcher on the website that indicates to visitor this website offers language options. Once you change the language, for example, let's try French, the website content will be instantly displayed in the selected language. So you'll be visiting the same website in a different language. On top of that, these translated pages will be indexed on search engines, so your website will start ranking in international search results. And the best part is going multilingual with Weglot is achievable for any website without any need for technical skills. That's why Weglot is the preferred website translation solution of more than 110,000 websites worldwide and from various industries. After watching this quick demo, you'll be ready to join them too. The first thing to know is that you can translate any website with Weglot regardless of website technology. For example, for most CMS like WordPress, Shopify, Webflow, etc., you can find a Weglot plugin in the marketplace and install it just like any other plugin. Then you'll need to sign up for a free Weglot account and create a project there. So let's click here. Because I already have an account, I'm directed here. And to create a project, I should just click here. Let's give our project a name. And choose our technology here. And click Next. In this step, you'll just choose the original language of your website and which languages you'd like to translate it into. I'll choose French and Turkish because those are the two languages I can speak and click Next. In this step, we'll just put our website URL here and choose the URL type. So although the visitor will view the same page when they change the language, the translated version of your pages will have a language-specific URL based on the structure you'll choose in this step. The two URL structures that you can choose from are subdirectories and subdomains. For example, if you choose subdirectories, then the French version of your homepage will have this URL. So for our case, let's choose subdirectories and click Next. Setting DNS records is very easy. You can either choose this option, so it's automatically done for you. You can set them up manually by entering these values. Or if you're not ready yet or you don't have a custom domain, you can just skip this step. Although you can skip this step if you're not ready yet, keep in mind that setting up language-specific URLs is an important step for multilingual SEO. Once you set it up, Weglot automatically implements a traveling text to indicate to search engines that this new URL is a translated version of your existing page. So this way, you don't risk getting penalized for duplicate content. So once you're ready to set up your DNS records, we highly recommend that you do it. Normally, when you set up your DNS entries as indicated, your setup is complete and you go multilingual right away. But let's say that you have a headless CMS or your website is still in the staging process. Here is how you would manually do it. So Weglot gives you a JavaScript code like this and you go back to your CMS and you just add it to your head code here. Let's say save. So then when you visit your website, you're gonna see that there is a language switcher added. And when you click on it, you can just change the languages and instantly it's multilingual. So what happens is when a visitor changes the language of the page using the switcher, Weglot will detect all the content on the page and translate it using the best machine translation engine available for your language pair. In most cases, this is either DeepL or Google Translate. These generated translations will also appear on your Weglot dashboard and it will count towards your word count. So let's say that your English homepage has 1000 words and a user requests a French version of this page by changing the language for the first time. Weglot will then instantly generate French translations for these original thousand words and display it on your website for the visitor. Keep in mind that your word count is related to the number of words on your website, so it will progressively increase as your site is visited in the translated language until the whole of your website has been visited. 
So let's go back to our dashboard and check our translations. Like I explained, your website content will be progressively translated as your pages are visited in one of your translated languages. This can be triggered by your visitors when they change the language on one of your pages for the first time, or by search engine bots when they crawl your website in the translated language, or by you if you want to have translation generated in your dashboard right away. You can do this manually by changing the language on your untranslated pages like we just did, or you can go to your Vlog dashboard and go to URLs here and scan your whole website. You can choose the ones you want to translate like this or choose them all and say add URLs. Then simply click on this icon to generate your translations. But let's say that there are certain pages or even blocks that you don't want ever translated. You can simply exclude them from translation. So when a visitor views an excluded page, they wouldn't see a language switcher. Therefore, Vglot wouldn't be able to generate translations for this page. And you can access the exclusions feature here. To exclude a page or a block, just click Add Rule and set the options here. For example, I can exclude all my blog pages from getting translated by creating a rule that excludes any URL that starts with blog. And remember that this feature can be especially useful if you want to keep your word count within a plan limit. Keep in mind that if you exclude an already translated page, you need to also delete the associated translations from your project to reduce your word count. Although Viglot generates translations on your website instantly, you can make your automatic translations private if you prefer to review them before going live, or disable automatic translations altogether. Just go to the options menu next to your language pair, enable or disable these options. Next, I want to show you a feature that will help you make the most of your automatic translations. To have automatic translations aligned with your guidelines and brand tone, you can set translation rules using the glossary feature here. This way, you won't waste time editing the same translations and make sure your translations are coherent. For example, let's create a rule. You can create a rule to never have your brand name translated. So let's say never translate Viglot for French and Turkish and save. Now, we know for a fact that no automatic translation will have the word Weglot translated into something else. We'll always keep our brand name intact. Or we can add a glossary feature to always have a specific word translated in a specific way. So for example, let's say I want the word shop to always be translated as boutique in French, say. Once you set a rule, it will be automatically applied to all your translations, so you'll never have to manually edit them. Automatic translations boosted with your glossary rules ensures that you get the best automatic translation quality, but you might still want to make edits to your translation. That's why Viglot offers multiple ways to help you to refine your translations easily. For example, let's look at a fun one, which is the visual editor. So when you click on the visual editor, your directed to a live preview of your website. And in this view, you can just directly go into translations like this and make your edits here. Once you change something, it's automatically updated on your website. So it's that easy. But if you prefer to work on a more text-based view, you can use the translation list on your dashboard. So for example, let's go like this. So here you'll see that your translations are categorized under your URLs and they're side by side. Similarly, if you want to make an edit, you can just click directly on the translation, make your change, and when you click out, you'll see that it's saved automatically. Another important thing to notice is that normally your translations are marked as automatic translation. The moment you make an edit, it will be saved as manually edited translation. This is useful because you can track what percentage of your translations are manually reviewed or changed versus what percentages stayed in the automatic version. And you can change these marks manually. For example, let's say this automatic translation is good for me. I want to approve it. I can just say mark is reviewed. This way, even though I didn't change anything, it's still marked as manually edited translation. And I know that I confirmed this translation. This is just an easy way to visualize your manual revision progress, but it's completely optional, so you don't actually have to do this. And for each translation, you can get more information by clicking the See Details icon. There are a bunch of useful features here. For example, you can 
retrieve an older version of a translation. For example, we can just go back to whatever we had before by clicking here. Or, for example, we can have AI suggest different translation options. And if you like one, we can just say, I want this one, and it's changed with an alternative. But it's always more fun to work with others on your website translation project. So you can invite others to your workspace and create your team. Let's see how it's done. Go to project members and say add a member. So as you can see, you can add team members. There can be translators that can help you with reviewing and editing languages, managers with full access to your projects, or viewers that don't have any editing capabilities. Keep in mind that you can also create organizations and workspaces to separate team members and better organize your teams and projects here. But let's say that you want to translate your website to a language that you don't speak or no one in your team speaks and you don't know any translators to add to your project. You can still have your translations reviewed professionally. Just go to your languages, let's say here, and let's say I want these two translations to be reviewed by a professional translator. I can click here to say order professional translation and go to my cart here. So after I fill out this details, I'll just send it for a professional translation. And these edits done by professional translators will be delivered and be instantly updated on my website within 48 hours. Finally, let's say that you wish to work on your translations outside of Wiglot. You have the option to import or export them. Just go to the languages and from actions, choose import or export. But translating the text on your pages is only one aspect of a fully multilingual website. That's why we will also translate your metadata to help you achieve the best multilingual SEO results. You can find your metadata translations in your translations list like this, let's say meta, or you can also find them in the visual editor when you choose SEO tags. To further localize your website, you can add media translations and display different images or videos on your translated pages. For example, you can use images with local models or landscapes to create familiarity instantly. Just go to Actions here and say Add Media Translation. To complete the look of your translated pages, you can customize your default language switcher to fit your website design. To do that, simply go to Language Switcher here. And here you have a bunch of settings that you can customize. Plus, you can change the order of the languages. And you can just work on this on the switcher editor to make sure you know how it looks on your website. And you can simply change everything about your language switcher to make sure it fits your brand guidelines. It's also very easy to change the position of your language switcher here. For example, I can just add it to my menu like this. Or I can even look how it's going to look on mobile and make sure it's optimized for that. For a seamless localized experience, you can also enable the auto-switch feature and have the translated version of your pages automatically serve to your visitors based on their browser language. For example, when a user that has their browser language set to French visits your website, they will see the French version by default. To do that, just go to General and here enable the auto-switch option. You can also set a fallback language. For example, let's say someone has Italian as their browser language, and because I don't have that language on my website, by default I can say for these people, may direct them to the French language instead. And finally, the best part of website translation is seeing the incredible results. To assess the performance of your multilingual website and identify new growth opportunities, you can consult the statistics sections here. Because our new multilingual website hasn't been visited yet, we don't have much data here, but let me show you what it looks like on another website. As you can see, you have a bunch of useful data here, which can help you decide on your next international marketing actions. Or you can look at the page views and see where your visitors are coming from. And you can identify new language options. For example, let's say, I see that a lot of people who speak Portuguese visit my website, so it might be a good idea to add Portuguese to my website, and I can just do it with one click here. So that was it for this demo. Thank you for watching, and if you're ready to get started, you can claim your 10-day free trial and continue with our forever free plan or upgrade to have more features in your plan. 
To learn more about the mentioned features, you can watch dedicated tutorials on our YouTube channel, read support articles on our Help Center, or check out our training course on Wiglot Academy. Keep in mind that you can always reach out to us at support at wiglot.com for any questions. Start your multilingual journey today with our free trial in the description. See you in our next video. Bye.